<laughs> Good morning. Anyways, uh, so today we're doing a deck profile on Neo Nectar. Neo Nectar, uh, Maiden of Deck. Believe it or not, first we're running our starter Ozu. Um, draw one if my opponent's Grand One Crater puts you. And we're running one Spiritual King of Determination of Bodera. This is the one from my Bruce Straw deck, but still child deck so yeah um over 100 million additional effects give another unit 100 million and draw one and if i damage check it heal one give a unit give my vanguard 100 million now we're running four draw pgs from plan selection actually no wait this is from the austro trial deck yeah this is from the austro trial deck run four yes i had to open four actually eight because I was planning on building a very premium version of Musketeers when clan selection comes out, so keep uh, an eye out for that. So yeah, we got run four, drop PGs, and then we run uh, Maiden of Pilmouth, the crit stride fodder. Yes, I made an accomplishment. I now have crit stride fodders, so now premium could be more fun and interesting. So. Crit Strive Fodder, we run her four. We run also three of Happy Lucky. Uh, Happy Lucky, you know, put into soul, generation break one, giving my banger plus 10k, when it attacks and draw one. This right here is so fun. Uh, extra, what, three draws, so I'm happy about that. We run three of those, then we run Watering Elf. The draw, the draw trigger. Um, when I get my musketeers, I'm going to play around with the heal guardian, you know, run 2 2. But right now, uh, we have this and it makes me lucky, I guess. Um, run those 20k discard for G guard. Um, moving on to the grade ones, I have to make space because tripod's killing me. Um, off to the great ones, we run two Maiden of Breed Rain. You know, rest this unit, choose a normal unit, put it to the bottom of the deck from drop zone. And if I do search up for one of her and draw a card, the reason why I run two is because it's very unlikely that I'll get another copy of her. So we're mainly going for that draw. Literally, I just want to get the draw power out of this deck as much as possible. So then we run three. Um, maiden of Water Pot. If a Maiden of was superior call from deck, um, put her into Soul. Um, choose a normal unit with Maiden of its card name. Put it on top of the deck. And if I do counter charge, well, shuffle my deck, draw a card, and counter charge one. More draw power and top that I get the counter charge player to soul and I can recycle this back in later. We run three uh, made in a sweet berry. Uh, one place you may call plant token if your banger is great three greater, so charge one. If my banger is great three greater, so plus five. You know, very simple, very swift. Top of that, I get to get a plant token options to generate for cards like this um made in a flower carpet uh, one place get a plant token drop zone at, at the end of the at the end of my turn i may retire two plant tokens and return her to hand so we got return power and return to deck power along with her to be returned to hand for guarding potential um there are some stuff you can add in if i can get my Extras in real quick. You can add these dry fodders if you need to, or you know you can just add like a third breed brain or a or a fourth water pot if I could if I have another one. I think I do. No, or you can add a third breed pot, uh, breed rain, or you can just add her 
is actually quite useful, but I don't have the space for her, so I want to put Stride Fires. Off of Ray 2s, we run two Maiden of Gladius, or Gladius. Um, Generation Break 1. At the end, that this unit will take care of us 1 and we switch your deck for up to 1 card, the same name as this unit. Call it to Regard and Shovel. This is why I run 2. Uh, because we could easily recycle this, we can play it to the deck over and over and over again, and we can just smoke it out there. Then we run three um, Amethyst, Maiden, Anik, Kabide, whatever. Anemia. Um, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, draw a card, you get a plant token. If you have a Rearguard of Vanguard with the same name as the Great 3 Vanguard, all my units get boost. So, this is what's used for Asha, but because I can have Rearguard with the same name, all of them can have boost, so if I call a Maiden of, let's say you have a Great 3, I can have two Maiden of the same name and give them boost. Yeah, and it makes me kind of, makes it cool. Um, next we run four Maiden of Lotion. Rest another one, give one of these cards plus give one of these copies 4k and 3k, right? Yeah, 3k and boost, and there's another maiden of them. She's on this and it gets another 3k boost. So, 3k from the first skill, and if I have a G zone maiden of face up, another 3k and boost. So, more support and more ways to actually get tax out. Uh, next, we run the clan selection maiden of Nephidus. Um, entire plant token draw a card, and if this unit's on rear guard, this unit gets boost, and if we're both rear guard and vanguard, plus 5k. Um, and if the if you boosted a grade 3 rear guard, you may have the boosted unit get plus 1 critical in the end of battle if you do put this unit to soul. So, crit pressure, we do want to prefer we play force 1. Believe it or not, we do. So that actually works out well. How the fact that we play eight crit, actually seven crit. That works as our eight crit. Um, great threes. We run four trailing roads. Maybe no trailing roads. V. Um, one place you may choose. Call up to one plant token from Vanguard level two. Uh, act on Vanguard Soul Blast for 1 and 3 of my plants token gets plus 5. And then we run 2 Maiden of Rumble Rose, Legion, uh, Maiden of Trailing Rose. Choose, you know, switch my deck up to 2 cards with the same unit and Vanguard Rear Guard Building. Choose a card from among them, put it into my hand, and the rest of the deck. Regard. The rest call to your guard shovel. So these lets me this lets me call cards and put stuff in hand. Um so left one place on Vanguard pay the cost if you do choose one of your creating the less your guard search your deck grab to one copy of the same name and call to your guard shovel. So more calling for And then we run four made enough stand for me. Same as this but except for call two plant tokens. And when this unit attacks for track four rear, it's called four plant tokens with plus 10 to the battle at the end turn. And basically more force options and more plant token options because we do run a lot of plant tokens for retired skills a lot. So then we're going off to the G zone for uh, actually extra stuff first. Run one quick shield, six plant tokens, three force two, eight force one. Let's start off with two guardians of well, the Starfire two guardians. Flower Princess of Cherry Corsarina. Uh, one place, Catalyst, one choose face down. 
card from Jesus and face it up. Um, so at the end of the battle, this unit gets plus 5k. Choose up to one card called your graveyard. You have two or more units, this unit gets plus 10k instead. 5k. Uh, we run two Sacred Tree Dragon Rain Breath Dragon. Call a card, gets continuous resist on Vanguard and Guardian Circle. And if I called, and if I called it, this unit gets plus five. Actually really good, because then I can have resist on something. We run two Bond Protector Musketeer on Tarot. Um, so last one is you can get plus 5k to the end of the battle, and if my rear guards are 4 or less, or 1 or less, this you can get plus 15k. This is useful, believe it or not, I actually enjoy using this card a lot. Number 1, 1, the Deviate, you know, Flower Princess of Kandor, Lindor's Premier. I have never wanted this, believe it or not, she's just there for options. I don't want to read her skill. We run Sacred Tree Dragon, Break Brother Dragon. Choose up two cards with different card names from either Jop or Rear, put it to deck. And if five or more were there, draw a card, counter charge, soul charge. Great, great stride. Believe it or not, I go into it first out of every card. Um, Asha, or Amunculus Asha. Believe it or not, I have her here for more options. Let's say flip, or if I secretly go into her, she's there for a reason. I have never went into it, believe it or not. I actually only went into one of my Maiden of Strides and Rainbrush Dragon. Uh, Maiden of Fertility, Grover Lily. I never went into her either. I don't want to read her skill. But if I ever do go into her, it'll probably be in a game that takes longer than usual. I am going to start recording matches soon, one day. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Probably record them in school. If I ever get my phone back in the first school. Um, for Yggdrasil. This card, I go into first or second. Believe it or not, I sometimes debate. Um, kind of boss one. So last one, flip over herself. Choose three maidens in the front row. Get plus three. And when they tune it... When this unit attack hits a vanguard, look top five, replace two of the front row units that have the same name as vanguard and rearguard, and I get to call them. That's it for my unit of deck. And believe it or not, I am actually enjoying this deck profile a lot. Casual, believe it or not, I play this casually. I don't see any competitive potential in it. But if, it, if I do bring it competitively, I'm actually going to record it. Because at some point, it does token rush. If you draw really good. So yeah, thank you for my duck profile. This is Mother Ruby Sanders signing out. Bye-bye.